Hello and welcome back to another LookDevX video. In this video, I want to show you how to export geometries and materials using the USD exporter. And in this case, as you can see in the viewport and in the outliner, we have a very low poly version of this dinosaur. And let's just dive in and export this to USD using the export selection option box. And in here, we have a couple of settings. At the moment, plugin configuration set to Arnold. We just want to disable this and we want to make sure we are not exporting any materials. If I export selection now under dinosaur geometry low export selection, everything gets exported. And it's always a good habit to just test what you exported. So create stage from file, browse to our exported file, create that. And you can see our dinosaur is being imported. We have, if we open up everything, We've got just the geometries, no materials assigned, and that's exactly what we want for this case. So now let's do the same thing for our high poly version. This dinosaur, you can see already, it has way more subdivisions and an important aspect, the shape nodes, they have the Arnold um, subdivision scheme enabled, cat clock, it's three iterations. And if we use the Arnold uh, plugin configuration, it will also export those uh, subdivisions, which is pretty awesome. So. Selecting this, File, Export Selection Option Box. As I said, make sure you have Arnold enabled. You don't need to worry about any uh, material conversions here. So just hit Export Selection. And let's just do that. Geo High. And now that is being exported. And again, let's just load that in. See what we get. Stage from File. Pick the High. And let's see what we're getting. So we are getting a lot more than with the proxy. And the reason is the Arnold plugin configuration option, it tries to just export as much as it can and also the assigned materials to the geometries. And this is what we're getting. We're getting the Arnold SCS in here and render settings. And in this case, because we just want to export geometries, we do not care about any of this. So I can just select them in the outline and delete them and then save that USD file again. So now we have exported two USD files a proxy and a high poly version. And now let's export the Maya materials assigned to this dinosaur. First, let's have a look in the hypershade. We can see we've got our Maya materials. We've got our file textures, place to D nodes, our standard surface here, and obviously our shading engine. Now they are assigned to the proxy and we do very similar as before. We select it, go to file, export selection. This time we can still leave the plugin configuration to none, but in this case, we want to enable material X shading. What this means, the USD material X export will try its best to map our Maya materials to the corresponding materials in material X standard library. And if that is not possible for some nodes, then it will use the Maya material X supplementary library. That is important to understand. So now let's hit export selection. And as before, Create stage from file, pick it, and load it in. Now we can already see that the materials are assigned in the viewport, so that is already a very good sign. Now let's open it up and see what we get. We get an automatic material scope, and we do get our um, material container. So right click, show and look DevX, it will open up our container. If I dive in here, we get our graphs. We got our standard surface, and we do have our Maya compounds. So if I dive in here, we get as a very similar shading network as we get on the Maya side on the hypershade. This is just the look DevX counterpart. So as I said previously, the USD material X exporter tries to export the Maya shaders to the native material X standard library. And if it doesn't work, it tries to do this with the Maya supplementary library. And in this case, we can already see that a couple of these were actually exported using um, the Maya supplementary library, like this uh, file texture node. It's named Maya ND file texture node. And this is just an indication that these nodes are not part of the material X standard library. And the reason for this is at the moment, the standard material X library do not support color spaces as the same way as the file texture node of the Maya supplementary library. You can see we've got the color space options in here, and we do not have that in the default standard library. And a similar way, what works, for instance, the place to detection node is a Maya node, but you can see that it's also part of the material X standard library. And that's why you don't get the Maya in the prefix for that. So this is a pretty cool way to distinguish between the material X library and the material X Maya supplementary library. 
All right, so these are exported now. Um, in this case, we want to just have a clean material USD file. So I can just delete the geometry like that and I can save it. And now we have our materials saved to disk. Now we do have to do it one more time, just as an example, to show you how the same process works with Arnold shaders. So if I unhide this, if I visualize them in the hyper shade, you can see it's very simple. We have our Arnold image node, color correction, Arnold center surface, and the shading engine. As before, you will notice that the textures are not displayed in the viewport, um, but it still works the same way. I can disconnect the textures and you can see that the shader still updates in the viewport. It's just as soon as the texture is connected, it will just default to the default colors. All right, so similar as before, we select our geometry file, export selection, and this time, obviously, make sure that the Arnold plugin confirmation is set to Arnold. And if this material X shading is enabled, it will just duplicate a shading graph that is based on material X. We don't need that. We just want the Arnold graph and look FX. So export selection, and let's just export this to Arnold and hit export selection. Everything has been exported. We can hide it. And now let's just load that in, create stage from file and pick our dinosaur MTL Arnold. Create that, you can see the dinosaur is being loaded. And as before, we do get everything else. Um, we don't care about render settings or cameras. We just want the Arnold STS. And we can right click this and show this in LookDevX under a new tab and we get the Arnold STS material container. I can hop in here and you, you will notice there's this one red node. All we have to do is disconnect the connection and use the out port and connect that to surface and then this error is gone. And you will see that we get the Arnold image nodes, we get the color correction nodes and everything works just fine. And all these nodes are converted without any issues to look DevX and USD. And as always, we can render and see how it looks. There you have it. We have a very great looking dinosaur now using look DevX and USD. Now, all we have to do is clean up the stage. So let's get rid of the geometry. So we just retain our materials and just save the stage. And now we have exported two geometries and two material USD files. And now let's use these files in the next videos where I'll be going over folder structures and production workflows.